Hello guys, Crypto Bullseye here, and I'm bringing you your edge in the market. And how am I bringing you your edge in the market? It's the Trading View watch list. You've been asking about my watch list, what I do every single day. So a day in the life of me today. First thing that I do, guys, get up, switch the computer on every single morning, get myself in the shower. The computer's ready when I get out and I go through my watch list every day. It's literally something that takes me 10 minutes in the morning. And what I'm doing is I'm going through to find out first and foremost, the direction of trend, whether it meets my conditions, and what areas that I'm looking for on the day. So we've got the daily chart here. And what I'll do is depending on my time frame, I'll go through if I'm trading shorter term time frame, I'll go through on a shorter term, but I'm looking for key areas of resistance, support, or breakouts. And I'm going to ask TradingView to tell me when those areas are hit. So go through your watch list. Are you interested in anything? Let's use Carver as an example. What do we want for Carver? We want a break of trend. So what can we tell TradingView? What can we tell TradingView? Each one of these candles represents one day of price action. It's going to be days before our conditions are met. It's going to be days before our levels are hit. So what can we do? We can add an alert on here and we can just say trend break. Powerful stuff this. Helps you keep your mind organized. If you're anything like me, you need to keep your mind organized. So what level are we interested in? So we want a break of trend. So if we had a break of trend here, 1322, two, that's when we're interested. Does it mean we're taking a trade at 1322? It means that we're looking to see if our levels and conditions are met because one of two things can happen here. Price can break up and break straight back down or price can break and close above. If price breaks and close above, it shows momentum for the bulls. So where would your targets be? The previous low, the previous major swing low. So your targets are there. So if you were taking a long at this level and price action had closed here, you've got stops below the previous low and you're shooting for this low. What does that mean? 0.8 risk to reward, not good enough. Move on to the next one. Move on to the next one. So you've got Carver, no good. Bitcoin, 1.29 risk to reward if we got the break and a close above, not good enough for me. Keep on going and you keep on going until you get that appropriate risk to reward. So just an example we use, what's this, Alluvium. So if we're going for this high here on Alluvium, you've got Stops below the previous low. You've got tight stops here. You've got a 4.26 risk to reward. What does that mean? It means you could be wrong 4.26 times and right once. You only need to be right once and wrong 4.26 times to break even. If you're right more than once, then you're in profit. And if you keep doing that over a pre period of time, that's consistent profitability, guys, consistent. So make sure that your rules are met. So let's go and add another alert on here. So when are we interested in CRV? When are we interested in curve? Stick a trend line on there. Ask TradingView to tell us when this is broken. When's this trend line broken? About 76 cents. Add an alarm on there, 76 cents. TradingView is going to tell us the trend break. And then we look for our rules of entry. Rules of entry could be anything such as a break and a close above, strong break and a close above, that show momentum. If you've got any kind of rejection like this, where you've got a big wick like that, that's showing that there's resistance, strong resistance at this level, and the bears are fighting back. So the chances are it's likely to be pushed back into trend. So you can look for different conditions that are met when TradingView gives you a signal for entry. What I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to add Crypto Bullseye Community. Let's add it together. Crypto bullseye community fix what i want you guys to do is fill this up for me empty now fill this up for me let me know in the comments what you'd like me to cover next i'll promise i'll add it to this and then we'll go over in future videos so if you want more videos like this educational ones things that i do in the morning things that i look for in trading let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to cover it take care and goodbye from me